now look to the back straight for the women's B, 1500, a field of 16. So another big field for the women, which is great to see. Hip number one, Mia White of Western Ass. Number two, Amir Tabit of C.O.B. Coburg. Thank you, Coburg. Number three, Indigo Lind of Yarra Rangers. Number four, Chelsea Saw of Melbourne Uni. Number five, Abigail Thomas of Western Ass. Number six, Vanessa Wilson of Glen Huntley. Number seven, Amelia Belleville of Mentone. Number eight, Tess Rhodes of Deacon, number nine, Mina Strudley of Yarra Rangers. Number 10, Bianca Puglisi of Essendon. Number 11, Remy Gibbs of Frankston. 12, Nicolette Lesberg of Mentone. Number 13, Brianna Kroll of Box Hill. 14, Eliza LaPere of Ballarat YCW. 15, Georgina Mees of Ballarat YCW. And at number 16, rounding it out here, is Amy Robinson of Collingwood. So a big field of 16 here in the women's B1500. And I'm not sure what the spread here is on the seed times, but I imagine there's going to be a fair few quick girls in this race, Nick. It'll be around the 4.45 mark. A lot of them will be looking to break around 4.50s for some of them and all the way down to a 4.55 to the last of them. So about 12 seconds separating the whole group, which should put them all in their home straight as the leaders cross the line. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> in theory. Everything's great in theory. No, it's been a fantastic night. And another great assistance from the people of Box Hill Community Athletics here. There are a lot of volunteers down there helping out. So make sure whenever you are in an event, if you're here tonight or here at one in the future, make sure you do thank the volunteers because it is quite a thankless job and they work tirelessly to make sure that these meets run on time and to perfection. So thank you so much, everybody who's helping out. As we look over to the starter and we are about to get underway here in the women's B1500. I don't know if there's such a thing as a prime time for 1,500 metre running, but if I've ever seen it, it looks like it might be right now. The sun's starting to set. The temperature's cooling off a little. The track's a little bit cooler. The people are starting to come through the gates. And I reckon this is uh, this would be the time that you really want to race, Mick. Absolutely. If there's a prime time, it looks like it's 8.19 on a Tuesday <laughs> night in December. Not a breath of wind by the looks of the trees on the back straight there, as we can see the... Crowd starts to mass on that slight hill around the Box Hill Athletics track. How's the nervous leg shakes on the girls, though? Oh, there's a few <laughs> girls out there who clearly really want a PB, and you work, you work so hard for it, so I really hope that they can get over the line. But <laughs> you're right, there's a few nervous looks around. But on the start line, you, you know, there's a few kinds of athletes. You're either the one who's looking for your coach or your friends, someone to calm you down. You've got the ones who have tunnel vision who don't look anywhere and they're just ready to rock and roll from the gun. And then there's a few others who are shaking their legs and trying to get in any last-minute pre-race jitters or training almost that they can get. So it's, um, you know, there's always a few ways to psych out your competitors around you and I think everybody starts to figure that out. But that's not what tonight's about. It's about running PBs. At <laughs> no psyching out. A little bit of psyching. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe marginal. So the girls will be looking for around 75, 76 second laps. So one minute 15, one minute 16 per lap. A bit over 2.30 or about the 2.30 mark through the 800 metres if they want to go around that 4.45 mark. Um, Georgina Mees from Ballarat, the athlete in the red singlet, second last to the outside of the track, as we see on the screen, is the highest seated athlete in the field. And Amira Tabert who is the sister of the athlete earlier in the race from Coburg, is the second highest seeded. So we'll look for the red singlets early on and see how they go against the rest of the field. Mia White, also a seasoned athlete many years in the junior ranks. Yeah, it looks like Amelia Belleville of Mentone there is going to take the lead from our Box Hill athlete as our Collingwood athlete comes around onto the outside, and that's Amy Robinson. So she's now going to take it from Belleville from the front and we're looking at the Ballarat YCW athletes there as you said the fastest seed time in the race but right now it's Amy Robinson of Collingwood who's going to take them out she's just ahead of our Mentone athlete there in Amelia Belleville Brianna Kroll of Box Hill another hometown advantage we have here 
in the women's B race. She is sitting in third position. And as you said, Mitch, Georgina Mees is just on her shoulder. So the back of the pack all is tightly bunched, as we would expect only 300 metres into a 1,500-metre race. And you have Bianca Puglisi of Essendon there doing a bit of work on the outside in lane two. She's just found her way to tuck in now. And our other mentor and athlete in Nicolette Lesberg, she's also on the outside there. So she's now found a spot. But Amy Robinson's going to take him through the first lap in about 73 seconds there. So a little bit ahead of schedule of that 4.45 mark that we spoke about, Mick. And they've given her about 10, 15 metres to be able to work with. And you don't want to let that band get too far away because you've got to question when it's going to snap or... If you can bring it back, then be the one to bring it back. As we see the Ballarat YCW athlete on the outside of Amelia Belleville of Mentone. And it will be interesting. Amy Robinson isn't one of the highest seeded athletes in this race. So either she hasn't done a 1500 in a little while, she might be a bit confident, or we might see the rest of the field just start to make some moves and pull her back with two laps to go. However... She looks like she is only extending her lead. Yeah, she's looking extremely comfortable. You know, there's certain types of athletes that just feel really comfortable running by themselves. It sort of feels a little bit like training at times. So she's actually extended that lead from the last 300 metres. So she's now looking to be about 25 metres ahead. As we see the fastest seed in the field, our Ballarat YCW athlete. Very tightly bunched. That's Georgina Mees leading this Peloton group, should we call them, <laughs> as they're chasing Amy Robinson, who is the breakaway cyclist slash runner on the track at the moment. She's nearly gone through in the same pace there. I think she's gone through in about 227, so a 73 into a 74. And I think she may have the four percenters on me. Oh, those quick shoes that everyone's yeah, wearing. She might have them on, so... Not that I know too much about shoes. I'd be looking for an eighth pierce to help me out on that one. But <laughs> she has extended that to 40 metres now. And uh, Georgina Mees of Ballarat YCW is going to lead that chase pack. But she's going to have to do a lot of work to bridge this gap. As Amy Robinson's come out extremely confidently. And she is running her own race and running it extremely well at that. So she's going to come to 500 metres to go now. And uh, she's looking incredibly strong. And it doesn't look like the rest of the field will end up catching her with about 400 metres to go. There's probably a race in the rest of the field for the minor placings and see if they can help each other along for some PBs. We see Georgina Mees there. We see the athlete from Glenn Huntley in Vanessa Wilson make her way to the front of that pack, as does... Nicolette Lesberg there of Mentone. Bianca Pulgisi of Athletics Essendon is getting up on the Mentone Athletes' heels as well. So keep an eye on the minor placings for the rest of the field as Amy Robinson just has a massive, massive lead ahead of the rest of them as she has about 250 metres to go. Yeah, and she's just run her own race and she must be feeling extremely proud of herself now. She would obviously not know how far ahead she is, but with 200 metres to go, she is... 35 to 40 metres ahead, but there are two athletes charging down the back straight here, and that is Vanessa Wilson and Puglisi. So I don't know if they can catch her. It would be a miracle to be able to, but they're going to try their best. As Amy Robinson, who has led from the start, now comes into the 100. She's starting to tighten up a little bit, and we hope she can make it to the line. She certainly deserves a win as our other athletes in Vanilla, Vanessa Wilson and Bianca Puglisi I'm going to fight it out for the second place there. But Amy Robinson, she's done it the hard way and she's going to come down to the line and win this women's B 1500 and she's going to do it just under the 445. So a great run from Amy Robinson as we see Vanessa Wilson and Puglisi come down to the line now. Mia White and the fastest seat time there and Georgina Mees comes through now. So a great run from a lot of these girls. The Box Hill athlete and Brianna Kroll through the line, Chelsea saw. So Amy Robinson there collects the season's best or PB of around about 10 seconds and a bunch of PBs would be handed out to the athletes in that middle of the field all coming in around that 